Hello class, so this is going to be a quick video on the power rule. And this is just um, a quick rule that kind of helps us with understanding some basic derivatives, specifically those with powers. So, um, basically it's just if you take the derivative of x to the power of n, then you have n times x to the power of n minus 1. So let's just look at some quick examples of this. So with this one, you can just do that term by term, and you get this. So 3 times 4. x squared, so you take the power down by 1. 4x, and then 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's just 4x, plus 3. x to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0, right? And x to the 0, that just equals 1. So that's just 3. And then the derivative of negative 1. So remember that a derivative is rate of change. Number doesn't change. Therefore, there is no rate of change. Therefore, that's plus 0. But you don't need plus 0. You don't need to write that, of course. So pretty much the derivative is this. So let's try this next one. The power comes down and multiplies to the thing in front. Pi is just a number, right? So this would be 4 pi x to the power of 3 plus... Okay, so this might look crazy at first, but this is actually a constant. So that differentiates to be 0, actually. So all you get is this. All right, for this next one, I suggest that you just pause the video, try it, and then... Yeah, so pause... All right, so it's this power goes down. So two, two times a half is one, and then two minus one is one. Derivative of three y is just three minus pi. So the derivative of that is zero, and yeah, that's it. So power rule is fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Next video, we'll actually see how it works and why it works.